Hi everyone. Okay, let's solve this right away. X plus Y equals 30. This is our equation 1 now, right? And then our equation 2 is X times Y equals 40. We will name this equation 2. But from equation 1, we can have X to be 30 minus Y. This is equation 3. So we now have three equations. Now put this equation, equation 3, back into equation 2. Our equation 2 is XY equals 40. Okay, so if I link equation 3 and 2, that means there is a connection between 1 and 2 continuously, right? So let's continue. X here is 30 minus Y. So I'm going to write 30 minus Y. And there's Y here too equals 40. Now 30Y minus Y squared. Y times Y is Y squared. And Y times 30 is 30Y. This is equal to 40. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to write minus y squared first then 30y follows this becomes minus 40 and now there is nothing on the right now this is a quadratic equation but this negative power we want to eliminate it so we'll let that negative to multiply all of the terms so negative times y squared will give positive y squared Negative times 30y is negative 30y. Negative times minus 40 is plus 40. So this is now equal to 0. Our quadratic equation that we'll solve using the formula method. Okay, so before I proceed, have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not, subscribe so you can have access to more of my videos. Now, the formula for quadratic equation has a, which is 1 from here. a is the coefficient of a, um, y squared. Then we have our b, which is minus 30. If you leave out the sign, you will be wrong. Then we have our c, which is positive 40. Now, what is the formula? The formula is y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is called quadratic general formula. Okay, so our y now will be equal to minus minus 30 plus or minus square root of minus 30 squared minus 4 times 1 times 40 because a is 1 and c is 40 the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1 now y is 30 because plus and minus will give us some um, Minus minus will give us um, plus, right? So we have plus or minus. Then we have 30 squared, which will give 900. Then minus 4 times 1 times 40 is 160. Right? Then this will be divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. Okay, so our y will now be 30 plus or minus we have um square root of 900 minus 160 is 740 and we divide by 2 okay and um this is y being equal to 30 plus or minus okay i want to pick out a perfect square that's a factor of um, 740. I think um, it is 4, right? 
4 times 185 will give us 740. So we'll divide this by 2. Now our y is 30 plus or minus. Square root of 4 there is 2. Then I have root 185. This is divided by 2. And we know that 2 can go into 30. So that y will be 15 plus or minus 2 into 2 is 1. So we just have root 185 over there. And this is a 2 in 1 solution. Okay. Okay, so this is what we have. Meaning that our y is 15 plus root 185 or 15 minus root 185 right now to continue remember when we say that our x is equal to 30 minus y and we call this equation 3 now that we know the value of of y let's put it in here so that our x will now be 30 minus open bracket y is 15 plus root 185 so our x will now be 30 minus 15 minus times plus root 185 is minus root 185 this is x 30 minus 15 is 15 then we have minus root 185 okay therefore when x equals this 15 minus root 185 comma y equals 15 plus root 185 and there's something you should take note okay once you have this kind of solution for x and y definitely if you pick the next value of x okay look at the next value of y y is 15 minus root 185 right so that means that if y is going to be 15 minus root 185 then our x would definitely be 15 plus root 185 so you can just work on this and see what you will get for yourself. So by this, we have solved this problem completely.